Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Friday Football Blitz Go Orange Edition. Week number five is here, and what a jam-packed show we've got planned for you tonight. I'm Jocko. And I'm Anderly. So great, so many great matchups around our area with plenty of rivalry games to boot. So let's not waste any time. Jocko, let's get right into the action. I agree. The Border Blitz, Sun Prairie East versus Sun Prairie West in our game of the week. Former teammates meet as captains. How about Drew Cavanaugh? The East quarterback decides to be the first score of the night. Ooh, good hit. <laughs> Puts it in for 7-7-0. Seven, seven Sunny P. East. West quarterback Brady Rhodes backwards pass to Daniel Wilson will count as a fumble. And the Cardinals' Curtis Johnson will fall on it, make it 14 0 East. Drew Cavanaugh finds Luke Cornbread Dam. He finds the end zone, and the cards go up 20 0. Cavanaugh and the cards not done yet. This time he hits Connor Stoff for six more. Cardinals go on to win this one 40 7. They keep the Border Blitz trophy at Sunny P. East. Moving over to DeForest, the Norskis welcoming the Stoughton Vikings tonight. We'll start in the second quarter. Norskis up 21 to 6. And threatening for more, Max Mitchell throws one into the end zone, but it's picked off by Casey Quam. Trojans hoping this one sparks a comeback. Going for it on fourth down, Drew Viney passes one down the left side, but it's incomplete. Both defenses holding strong in this one. Norskis with the ball again. Mitchell launching one all the way down to Sean Brown. Defoe in the red zone. They will settle for a field goal on that drive, but they go on to, defeat, to defeat the Vikings 31 to 21. All right, Monona Grove at Mount Hora Barneveld on senior parent night. Vikings with the ball. Casey Helgeson throws a rocket. Chris Keel, 65 yards in all. They get the two point conversion, making it 8 0 MHB. Monona Grove answers back. This is a short run by Gavin Halowitz. That's my homie from St. Dennis. You go, Gavin. 8-6, to six, Vikings still on top. How about the second quarter now? Vikings running back. Trenton Owens aims for the photographers. Get out of his way, people. That's a touchdown. Nicely done, T.O. Mount Aura Barnabell wins this one. 44-32. Party at the Grumpy Troll. Oof to pretzels for everyone. Sox are taking on Oregon. We will start in the third quarter. Sox, Bowden Frosch laying out for an Eagles touchdown. There's the dive. 21-7 Eagles. More from the Eagles driving again. Landon Schultz connecting again with Bowden Frosch. Nice catch here, making it a 28-7 ball game. Let's jump to the fourth quarter. Sock handed it off to Connor Brig for the touchdown. Sock Prairie wins big, 34-7. All right, Andrew Lee, whenever we get to this part of the Blitz, I always feel like we're starting all over again because our games are that good that we could have, like, another game of the week because they're so worthy. Game of the week part two. Yes. Always good, and like they always do, Waterloo and Marshall as both the Pirates and the Cardinals come into tonight's Eastern Suburb Suburban Conference matchup. All right, out to Marshall we go, where the Studi is all fired up. Yeah, I said Studi. They really won't like this, though. Cool, Waterloo down 8 nothing in the first when they get on the board. Cal, hush. The quarterback Shh. keeps it himself. Hush. Goes around the outside, around the outside, in the end zone for the score. Sometimes it's okay to be selfish, kids. And sometimes it's okay to hand it off to your running back. Number zero in your program, number one in your hearts, Matthew Modal is running fast, and not even a pirate ship could catch him here. Cue the band, Andrew Lee. Where are they? There they are. Now, this is not a replay, but it sure seems like it. Modal, again, the senior is doing senior things, leading his team into the end zone, and a big win tonight. 59 to 38. Undefeated new Glarus Monticello on the road at Lakeside Lutheran, a packed house in Lake Mills. Warriors up 14-0 at the half. Lakeside dominated this one, though. Caden Boo driving one in from close, almost stripped, but a good ball security from the senior. 21-0 in the third quarter. Second play of the fourth quarter, more from the Warriors. I got psyched out, thought it was a QB <laughs> keeper, but it was a handoff to Sam Schmidt, who tumbles in for the score. 28 0 Warriors, and that's the final. Lakeside wins 28 zip. Boo earns. They're saying Boo earns. Columbus Cardinals taking on Turner. There's a student section. They're ready to go. Trojans start with the ball. A quick pass here. Jackson Walenga to Tyshawn Teague Johnson. So good, he's got three names. Moves to change, but Turner. Punts it away a few plays later. Columbus with the ball. Peyton Powers. That's a football name, man. And airs That's one a out football to Riley Knockreiner. That's a great name, too. Sets up the cards inside the five. First and goal. Powers with the hand up to who else? Colton Brunell. He is good at football, people. He goes untouched for six. Columbus grabs the early lead. 
And guess what? The cards don't look back from there. They stay undefeated, beating the Trojans 53 to 0. Johnson Creek hosting Randolph, both teams sitting at 3-1 and one on the year. And this game looks like it was straight out of the Badgers' offense. Run the dang ball the entire time. <laughs> Rockets up 8-0 in the first. Blue Jays punching one in from a couple yards out. Dylan Bredlow on the QB keeper. Randolph leads 8-7. Second quarter, another QB keeper. This time, Randolph's part of Meredith. 16-7 Rockets after the two-point conversion. Blue Jays answering as they run yet again. This entire drive, they cap it off with... Another quarterback keeper from Bredlow, Randolph up 16 to 14, but Crick comes back to win this one big 62 to 36 the in the trailer crick. matchup. Oh, Crick. Oh, Crick. Hey, we got an early fourth quarter, third and 18, junior running back Tyler Sassy. Screen pass, 60 yards to put the Hillman up. This is extra, extra footage from some of our viewers that send it in on your Show Your Spirit page. Yeah, the Hillman win it 21 to 0. Thank you to Michael. Tashner for sending us this video. Michael has helped us out before, so we're going to put him on the payroll. Michael, stop by. Uh, you can do sports on Tuesday. That's when I work next, so we'll appreciate you for doing that. Thank you, Michael Tashner. And again, the Hillman win once again. Well, that's it for the Blitz tonight. We'll see you guys in the after show party wherever you stream, including our Facebook Live. But, Jacko, you're not done yet. After the break, we're talking Brewers, Badgers, Pioneers with Jacko on NBC 15 Sports.